8 p.m. Pacific time, which is my time zone. I live in Washington State in the United States of America. And um, in this hour, we are going to be having an English uh, speaking class, reading class. I think I actually put it as a reading class. Um, I have an article that's about Craigslist. So some of you may already be familiar with Craigslist. Hi there, uh, Elena, how are you? <laughs> and um, so we're going to be reading an article about Craigslist and also for people who do not know about Craigslist, I'll go over it a little bit and explain what type of a site it is and um, how we use it here in the United States. Hi, Elena, how are you doing? Think, is your microphone working? <laughs> okay, so um, on the Verbling classes, you should probably see a join class button any minute now, and then you will be able to join the class. Um, also, let me just explain some things about how this works. It's probably better if I show you the screen share, so everybody who is new to Verbling, you can understand how this works. When, you, um, when you're on a Verbling uh, site, uh, let's see, if we go to the, Verbling, the regular Verbling site and you're on the live classes, you click on the join class button and then you come into this Google Hangout window. And on the right side you'll see the Verbling chat box and that's where people who want to type in the chat box and um, sometimes have conversations, ask me questions. You can see Maria Jose and Lendit are there right now, probably waiting for the green button to appear. And um, <laughs> yes, yes, you're very new, Maria Jose. I have to explain this to you. Um, when you come into the Google Hangout, sometimes your microphone is muted. You can tell whether or not your microphone is muted in two different places. Um, hi there, Diego. Uh, you can tell whether your your microphone is muted up here at the top. There's a small microphone picture. We call that an icon. If that is red, then that means it's muted and nobody can hear you. Uh, you can also check down here. So if you look here, I'm looking at uh, Elena. When I go over your picture, I see your name, Diego, and Jorge is here, and Lendit and Maria Jose, for example, everybody um, has their name and then a camera and then a microphone. If your microphone is red, that means uh, you are muted. So, for example, if I uh, mute, I'm going to mute Maria Jose, then her uh, thing turn, should turn red for her, and we can't see that. And she can unmute it. So go ahead and unmute your you. microphone. There you go. Okay. All right. So make sure your uh, microphones are working since we're going to be reading. Okay. Um, and that's about all for that. Okay. I'm going to welcome everybody, and we we will get started here soon. If you are watching um, and you want to join in the Google Hangout, it's a good time to push on that little green button where it says Join Class, and that way you'll come into the Google Hangout and you will be able to read out loud with us and speak and have a conversation with us. Um, it's better if you get in um, early in the class so you have time to read and then you don't get confused later on. So um, let's see who we have here, Marie Jose. Hello, how are you this evening? I'm good. I'm great. I don't know, but today I woke up and I was happy. I don't know why, but uh -huh. yeah, it was cool. <laughs> it's a good day. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Uh, and how's your mom doing? Good, good, but she has a little problem with uh, kneeling his chest in her chest, something like that. So mañana, uh, so tomorrow, uh -huh. she will go uh -huh. to the doctor. Oh, okay. But yeah, she's good. I think that That's is not good. a big problem. Okay. Good. And Lended, how are you doing today? I'm um, with a little headache. I had an exam today, so. Oh no. Yeah. A, what what class did you have an exam in? It's about matrices, like mathematics, algebra, uh -huh. something like that. Uh huh. And now it was pretty big, two hours, so. Wow. Yeah. Was it, was it hard? It was not that hard, but you need to do a lot of 
of operations to get uh, two numbers. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay. Jorge, how are you doing tonight? Doing fine. Fine. How about you? Good. I'm good. Thanks. And Diego, how are you? Hi, teacher. I'm Hi. doing great. I'm doing well. Okay. All right. And looks like uh, we have some other people who may uh, start joining us. Uh, Jeanette uh, sounds like it's coming in. So welcome, Jeanette. How are you, Jeanette? Do you have your microphone on? Click on your microphone to make sure it is not muted, Jeanette. So Jeanette Vargas. <laughs> Jeanette, I think probably your microphone is muted. You have to go up here to the top of the Verbling uh, chat box and click on it. If it's red, that means uh, we can't hear you. Oops, she got her connection went bye-bye. Okay, guys. So before um, we start the reading, I just wanted to talk about Craigslist a little bit. I don't know if you guys are familiar with it or not. Maria Jose said she um, didn't know that much about it. Lendit, have you heard of Craigslist? No, I have no idea. What is oh. that? Okay, good. All right, good. And Jorge, how about you? Have you ever heard of Craigslist? Yeah, I, I actually have. Uh, I buy some things in Craigslist. Mhm. Mm okay. Great. And uh, Diego, how about you? Have you ever heard of Craigslist? No, I haven't. Okay, good. Okay, so yeah, I have no idea. <laughs> okay, brand new. Something brand new for you to learn about. Well, Craigslist is actually pretty popular here in the United States. It started in the, the late 1990s, and by the year 2001 or so, it, had, um, it was already becoming very popular. So in the United States, um, many years ago, if you wanted to look for like a used car or you wanted to buy some furniture or something that you wanted to buy used, so you didn't want to go to a store and buy it brand new, then you would go to the classified ads in a newspaper. Um, and that's maybe how, is, do you have something like that, Marie Jose, in, in your town? If you want to buy something used, where would you go to look for like a used car? Would you uh, look at the paper? Or? Yeah, we have like, a, like a two types of, of methods to realize what, what is new in the classi classified uh -huh. ads. Yeah. One is paper is newspapers, another is a like a particular type of magazine. Uh -huh. yeah. That is cl that is called classificados in yeah. Spanish. Mm -hmm. And they and they put a lot of advertisements and, and and announcements about something about houses, cars. Yeah. Okay or maybe technology sure. or something. Sure. Okay, like well that. that's exactly what uh, Craigslist is. So in the United States, of course, you used to have uh, classified ads in newspapers and also maybe if you go to a store, there's a bulletin board, people are listing things, something like that. But um, these guys started this list, here, um, San Francisco is where it started. And all it is is, for example, if I go here, so I live in Washington State, so I would go I saw that there's some in Colombia, but there's also all of these sites um, are local sites. So, for example, I'm in Washington. So, if I'm looking to buy something, then I'm either going to look on the Olympic Peninsula because that's where I live, but probably I'll go to Seattle because Seattle is only two hours away and there's millions of people in Seattle. And so, there's lots of stuff there that people are trying to sell. So, if I want to buy something, for example, I might go look at uh, cars and trucks, and I would put in what I what I'm looking for. Um, I'm not gonna. I can do that here. So if I'm looking for, say, a computer, for example, all of these things come up, and there's ads, and people will say uh, what they have for sale. Sometimes they'll have uh, uh, pictures with it, and they tell you what the price is, and it's just a big listing, and it's actually uh, free. So if I want to sell something on there. For me, it's free. They do make some money by charging for job um, listings, but for people who just want to find things, like maybe you're looking for some kind of a mountain bike or something like that, you just type in what you're looking for and you just start looking to see if that's uh, anything that you're interested in, if, what kind of price you want to pay, and Lisa? sometimes you can get some really good deals. Yeah. And you can't find anything? Like 
like mm -hmm. from a from a pet to I don't know uh -huh. to a plane yeah. or something like that. Yeah, okay. well, let's. You can see here. There's all different types of categories. So there's community. So there's even um, lost and found, local news. There's some personal. So if you're looking for a man or a woman or some kind of a relationship, oh, okay. people, people, and like, that's what we're gonna read okay. about. Now we're gonna read about that. Like um, a man, a man by FedEx or something. Like that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yep, um, and also if there's some discussion groups. So it really started as a community website, and then it just got really popular. So also if you're looking for a job, maybe you're trying to find a marketing job, they have all kinds of things listed here. So and sometimes the jobs that are listed, they they might want you to work in the um, office, but a lot of times. It's a, a telecommuting job, so maybe you can even just find a, a job that you can work from home. And they'll, they'll tell you, you know, how much this is, $35 an hour, depending on experience. Um, and this is how a lot of people these days in the United States find things that, number one, they want to buy. So, like, if I'm looking for a used car, or a computer, or an iPod, something like that, I would go look at these uh, ads. And also people looking for jobs. They really do look for these and houses and rentals and all of that kind of stuff. So um, what's interesting about this is um, sometimes the ads can be very um, interesting. And you never know. Some of them um, you have to kind of watch out, make sure nobody's going to scam you. But most of the time it's just regular people who have stuff to sell. Like this guy is going to sell this Apple iBook. He wants sixty dollars for it <laughs> so you know you never know what somebody might put up it might be a great deal so um, if you're ever looking for something this is where you would go that these days even newspapers don't have very um, many ads because uh, Craigslist has become so popular so that's kinda like the background about Craigslist it's very popular um, you, if you're in like a bigger city, San Francisco, New York, there's lots more ads. Um, and so what we're going to read about is this article that I found where these two guys, these two brothers, are trying to get a date, to get two dates to go to a wedding. And they put an ad up on Craigslist in order to do that. <laughs> and so the person was writing about it because it was uh, pretty funny. So, um, so yeah, Maria Jose, you can search in there for anything. Pretty much. Yeah, maybe <laughs> I want to find uh, my true love or something. Like that. <laughs> well, actually, also it's all um, you know. If you're looking for a job, uh, you you might want to go check out. Like if, for example, if somebody wanted to um, get a job in uh, San Francisco, you could go. Well, let's even look in Colombia. There's Colombia right here, and it's actually in English. You can yeah. get it in Spanish, but you can also get it in English. Uh, so maybe you're, if you're looking for a computer, these things, uh, they have them. I'm, I bet if I put it in Spanish, there would be more uh, listings just because probably people are. Uh, so if I wanted to look for a barco, oh, look, I can buy a boat. <laughs> so this is in uh, Charles. This person's in South Carolina, though. I don't, I don't know why that's there. But um, you can post it from different places. But mostly they like you to try to stay local because it's for community, to build community and to sell things within your own community. But if you're looking for a job or something, you could go here and, uh, and look. And in some areas it um, is used a lot more. It looks like here in, in Colombia, maybe it's just getting started. There's not a lot of postings, as you can see. But if you went to somewhere like San Francisco or New York, uh, though there would be a lot more postings. So if you're ever interested in checking out what's available in those uh, areas, it's kind of fun to just go look through the ads on Craigslist. Uh, it's a good way also if you're traveling to the United States and you or to another place, you can look up a, a lot of times people are happy to rent out their homes for like a week or you know a month at a time or something like that. So it's a good place to find uh, rentals. But um, we're going to read the article and see what we uh, can. There's a lot of slang words and things in here, and it's kind of funny. So we'll see how we do with the, the vocabulary. Okay, uh, let's see. We have a couple more people who are joining us. Hassan, are you there? 
Hassan? I don't know if I'm saying it right. You're also, your microphone may be muted when you come in, so check your microphone. Kim, are you there? I'm here. Okay, great. Hi, how are you doing? Uh, okay, and, and Jeanette, I see that you're trying to come in, but maybe you're having problems with your connections. So maybe it's working now. Jeanette, are you there? And Hassan, I think. <laughs> okay, Hassan, are you there? Hi. I Grab your microphone. Yes. Okay, great. Yeah. Okay, so yes. we're going to start start reading. I just gave a little explanation about what Craigslist is, so you have a little bit of knowledge when we read this article here. Uh, it's called, You Could Be the Dream Craigslist Wedding Date. Okay, so I, the way I'm going to do this class, since it's a reading class, I'm going to be uh, reading first, and then I'll have you read after I read. You'll be reading the same thing that I just uh, read. So the first part is for you to listen and follow along and especially listen to how I am pronouncing the words and then um, you'll read after me. Also if you have any questions, you're not sure about something, you can ask me and I'll tell you what it means or we can write it here in the verb link chat. Okay, here we go. I'm going to read first and then uh, Asan, you can read next. Okay, you could be the dream Craigslist wedding date. Craigslist can be fascinating, it can be disturbing, but often the listings are plain entertaining. This one posted earlier this week was one of them. Okay, Asan? Okay. You okay. could be that. I cannot see the. Okay, let me make sure everybody has the Google document. Uh, I'll put it in the Verbling chat box and also in the Google chat. If you <coughs> open the document, then you'll be able to see it on your uh, computer okay. there. Yeah. You, could be the, you could be the dream cra Craigslist wedding date. Craigslist can be fascinating. It can be disturbing, but often the listing or plain entertaining. Mm -hmm. This one posted earlier this week was one of them. Okay. Yeah. Dave and Mike, brothers from Colony, Colony, who now live Colony. out of the area, have been invited to an early spring wedding in Saratoga Springs. They need dates, so they're using the classified site to make the connection. Basically, the need is at the request of the bride, who told the fellas plus ones are mandatory, so they won't harass all of her friends all night and stay under control. <laughs> plus ones are mandatory. Okay, Diego, how about you read that? Yeah. <coughs> yeah. Is that um, this? Hi, Kim, I can hear you. Yeah. Jed, a Mike, a brother from Colony. Oops, who now hold on, hold on, Kim. Wait, we're going, uh, I'm just going along the line here, so Diego's next, actually. Yeah. Okay. Diego? Okay. This bride has a lot of faith in her. Can if she thinks any... Old wait, wait, wait. We're, <laughs> we're at Dave and Mike. Start at Dave and Mike. Jeff and Mike, brother from Colony, who now live out the area, have been invited to an early spring wedding in Saratoga Green. They need debt, so they are using the classified site to make the connection. Basically, the need is at one re uh, the request of the bride who told her plus, plus one are uh, mandatory, so they were uh, harassed all of her friends uh, online on and stay under control. Okay, good. Okay, so Dave and Mike, okay, these are the two guys. They made this uh, ad, so it's an ad, and they're wanting to get a date to go to the wedding. And it says that the need is at the request of the bride. So what is a request? If I make a request of you, what is that? To ask for something. Yeah, no. you're asking for something. So what did the what did the bride ask these two fellas? Fellas means guys or men to do. What did she tell them? 
stay <laughs> under control. Yeah, but how does how is that going to uh, how are they going to stay under control? She said something is mandatory. It means it means uh, you must do this. Well, what, what is, is the it? meaning of harass? Harass? Harass is to harass. Uh, to like bother, to bother or to annoy or uh, so. Okay. Ba yeah. So this is this is some very um, slangy type of language. So she told the fellas plus ones. Plus ones mean them plus a woman. They need a woman. <laughs> they need a woman to bring to the party, to the wedding, okay? Uh, they need date, a date. And the reason why they need a date is so that they won't bother her friends, <laughs> her other girlfriends, <laughs> and so that they'll stay under control because she thinks that maybe they'll go pretty crazy or something if they don't have uh, girls with them already. They might be asking all the other girls at the party to to dance or to have a drink, something like that. Does that make sense? She doesn't um, yes. want them bothering her friends. Okay, so they need to have dates to go to this wedding. Okay, here. Okay, uh, Diego, I'm going to read this paragraph and then you're going to read the same one after I do, okay? This, this bride has a lot of faith in her kind if she thinks any old female companion can keep brothers with access to open bar and a dance floor under control. But hey, sometimes there's something to be said about feminine wiles. Wait, you say, don't they have a couple women friends in their lives they could coerce into coming along? Okay, Diego. Okay. This bride has a lot of faith in her kind if she thinks any old female companion can keep brothers with access to open bar and the dance floor under control. But hey, sometimes there's something to be said about feminine wiles. Wait, you say, don't they have a couple, a couple woman friends in their lives they could coerce into coming along? <laughs> okay, so Lend it, what's an open bar? Where you can drink uh, how much, uh, a lot of uh, yeah, alcohol and for free. Yeah, so when you go to a wedding and sometimes they have an open bar, it means you can just walk up to the bar and just ask for whatever drink you want. <laughs> and they're also going to have dancing. So that sounds like uh, hard to control young men, perhaps, if they have access to an open bar. But yeah. she says uh, sometimes there's something to be said about feminine wiles. So maybe if they get a, a nice woman who can, wants to go um, to the wedding with them, she'll be able to keep them under control. That's the thought. But then the, the, the lady who's writing the article says, don't they have any women friends that they could just coerce <laughs> to go along? What does it mean to coerce somebody to do something? To convince? Yeah, to, to convince. Do something? Yeah, to convince. To persuade, to maybe. Persuade. With, yeah, the, that's with the fe fe female powers or something. Like that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but in this case, they're trying. The, the lady who's writing the article who saw the ad on Craigslist is wondering don't they have any friends? Can't they just ask a woman friend uh, or make them go, persuade them? Okay, so that's the, uh, why are they doing this on Craigslist is kind of the, the question. But the guys say calling on any of the fringe women they know to get gussied up and hit the town might get messy. The guys, who seem totally hilarious and fun-loving based on the photos in their ad, know you're going to ask, what is in it for me? <laughs> okay, Jorge. But the guys say calling on any of the French women. They know to get gussied up and hit the town might get messy. The guys who seem totally hilarious and fun loving based on the photos in their app know you're going to ask what is in it for me. Yeah. Okay. All right, a couple of things here I want you guys to know. Um, so the fringe women, that might just be like 
you know, they might have some friends or something, but they don't really know any women who really want to get all gussied up. So what does it mean to get gussied up? Anybody know that? Have you heard that before? Nope. Nope. Okay, so you learned something new. If you get gussied up, it means you get all dressed up. So if you're going to a fancy party or a wedding or something like that, you're going to get gussied up. It means to get dressed up, wear nice clothing, put on some makeup, do your hair, stuff like that. And then um, hit the town. Anybody know what that means? Linda, you know what that means? Hit the town? Yeah, to go maybe to party. Yeah, to party, to go out. Uh, to to party. Drunk. Yeah. <laughs> <coughs> All right. So she says that the guys who um, are, they put in their ad some pictures and they look pretty funny. And so, but but you're probably going to ask if you're reading this ad, what what is in it for me? Why am I going to do this? Why would I go out with you guys? Okay. All right. So it says, no, no, you aren't getting paid. A benefit to both of you, really, as escort isn't typically a source of pride on a woman's resume, and most men don't want to think they'd have to pay for companionship. But they have created a list of what you do get. Okay. So this is in their ad. <laughs> Okay, let's see who's next here. Uh, Jeanette, are are you in? Is your microphone on? Jeanette, do you hear me? Hmm, I don't know. Lend it. Okay, why don't you read that? Okay. No, no, you aren't getting paid. A benefit to both of you, really, as escort, isn't typically a source of pride on a woman's resume. And most men don't want to think they have to pay for companionship. But they have created a list of what do you get. I continue? <laughs> okay. oh, yeah. Uh, yeah, sure. Why don't you continue? Okay, so these are all the things that you might get. The book. So these are the things that the guys are trying to uh, convince you are worthwhile so that you'll go out on a date with them. Okay, here you go. Go okay. ahead, Linda. You can read it. An excuse to get dressed up. Mm -hmm. Open bar and foot all night. Eccentric, downright dangerous, brought to broad dance moves. <laughs> may may need to sign a waiver. A waiver. <laughs> waiver. Uh -huh. Adventure, mystery, suspense, true love, royalties. Once or once our night story is developed into a romantic comedy. <laughs> okay, so these guys are trying to be funny. So you get to get all dressed up. You get food and and alcohol. Um, they're trying to be funny here with the bro-to-bro -bro dance, so they're brothers, they're going to be dancing, but you may need to sign a waiver, means like uh, it might be dangerous for you. Uh, adventure, mystery, suspense, true love. And then here's a funny one, royalties, so royalties is the money you get if you make a movie, for example, and then every time the movie plays, you get uh, money for it, that's called a royalty. So he's saying royalties once our night's story is developed into a romantic comedy. <laughs> Okay, so this is part of the ad, and they're trying to convince uh, women to respond to the ad. Who I, wants like, to go there. I like the, this type of ads. <laughs> <laughs> are, you, are you convinced, uh, Maria Jose? Should you mail yeah, this? Ad? Yeah, because, because the guys are, are funny, so I, I like yeah. funny, funny per people. Uh huh. Yeah, they have a funny sense of humor. Okay. All right, so why don't you read that? So this is a little what we call asterisk, and when you put a little asterisk mark there, then you define what that means here. So they put the asterisk, and then they, it means this. So and if, it, if this happens, we estimate the chances at 85%. We refuse the right to let Ashton Kutcher play either of our characters. However, we will consider him for a supporting role. Uh, before you get all excited and think you'll be the next featured couple in the New York Times wedding section, we're thinking the true love they're referring to is not between you and them, but rather the bride and groom. <laughs> so go ahead, Marie Jose, read okay. that. Okay. If this happens, we estimate the chance the, the chances at a eighty-five percent. We yeah. refuse the right to let Aston Kutcher play either of our characters. However, we will consider him for a supporting role. Before you get all excited and think you'll be the next future couple in the New York Times, where in section we're thinking the true love they're referring to is not between you and them, but rather the bride and groom. Yeah. <laughs> okay. I good. like Aston Kutcher. Yeah. Yeah, you do? 
<laughs> what what movie did he play in? The Twilight stuff? I don't know. Just... No, I like uh, his character in Two and a Half, and a half yeah? Man. <laughs> yeah, it's funny. Okay, I have to look him up That's here. Cool. Let's see who this guy is. Oh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> so he's a popular actor right now, I guess, huh? Yeah. He was married to Demi Moore. He was married to Demi Moore? Yeah. Yeah. But he's a lot younger, isn't he? Yeah, Demi yeah. Moore is like 50 and he's like 28, <laughs> something like that. <laughs> I think that he's a person who many men wants to follow or something like that. Oh, yeah? Okay. I see. All right, so they're making a joke about that. <laughs> okay, so, but wait, there's more. The brothers know you want the 411 on what they're like, so they give you this. Okay, so the 411 means um, information. So if you're in the United States and you dial 411, that means you're going to get um, information. You can, uh, that's like 911 is for emergencies, 411 is for information. Like if you need a phone number to some, like the pizza place or something like that, you can t tell them the name of the business and they'll give you the phone number for it. So that's what there's, that's what, that's a uh, term people use. I'll give you the 411. It means I'm going to give you the information you want. Okay, so here we go. Oh, us, we're both in our 20s. I'm just going to do that part right there. Uh, we're both in our 20s, single, dashingly tall, Anglo-Saxon, respectfully athletic, love to party, completely house trained, relaxed, passionate, smell great, have cool hair, clean up nice, boast great tie collections, and we'll promise to shave, <laughs> love our mother, oops, let's see, love... Okay, hold on, I messed up. Le love our mother, have seen love actually several, several times, controversial, provocative, short-sighted with a big picture mentality, uh, raw, emotional, sensitive, but still bad boys. Okay, that's them describing themselves. Okay, uh, Hassan, why don't you read all that for us? Okay. But wait, there's more. The brothers, you know what? the 411 on what they are like so they give you this oh us we are both in our 20s single dashingly tall anglo-saxon respectfully athletic love to party completely outstrained relaxed poisonate smell great have good <laughs> air clean up nice boast great to collections will promise to shape love our mother have seen love actually several times controversial provocate oh <laughs> okay sensitive but still bad boys okay uh, so Marie Jose what do you think about this description of the guys Oh, it's a very um, subjective description. It's like a <laughs> they want to to. They are very sincere. Yeah. Yeah, because they they they. I don't know. It's like when you want to sell something. Yeah. So they are they are selling their self, something like yes, that. Yes, yes, right. They're yeah, so it's quite funny to read to read yeah. this type of, of ads. Oh, I, think uh, that I got a good idea for the writing class. We can do a personal ad. Yeah, <laughs> you have to write your be. own personal yeah, ad. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> or, okay. maybe, or maybe you can, you can like, like this afternoon, you can try yeah. to, like, to connect, to link the one, one, uh -huh. the, the, the questions. Right. would be funny. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, I'll, I'll see if I can figure that out. Okay, so a couple of things here that uh, maybe you guys uh, could use to understand. Let's see. You could use, do you understand uh, completely house trained? You guys know what that means? He says they're house trained. Yeah. <laughs> what does it mean? That he can make uh, the laundry and the dishes, cook. Yeah. House yeah. cleaning. Yeah, he can do that. Also, we use that word when, uh, like puppies, when they're learning how to go to the bathroom in the right place. Once they learn how to go to the bathroom in the right place, they're house trained. 
<laughs> so they're also saying they're house trained, so they know where to go to the bathroom and they know how to be inside a house <laughs> without chewing up the furniture. Uh, they have cool hair, that's important. <laughs> and uh, they have great tie collections. Uh, so that if you look on their pictures, uh, did you guys click on that Did link? I, yeah. Did I have a question? Uh, sure. If every if everything is trained, then uh, we call him house trained, like parrot or uh, something. Say it again. What? I said if every bird or every animal we trained. Yeah. <laughs> so then we call him house trained. Yeah. <laughs> the, the animals, yes, they were house trained. Okay, so um, so did you guys see the picture? I just went there. So these are the pictures of the guys right here. You guys see that? <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh my god! Very convincing picture. These are the pictures that they put up to um, sell themselves. Without. Without the picture, maybe they convince me, but with the picture, <laughs> I don't know. I don't think so. Oh, this is one of their great ties, I guess, right here. And it looks like the ultimate men profile. So, ladies, watch oh out. My God. <laughs> they are very brave to put this this type of pictures. I think. Yes, I think they're going for comedy, mostly. Uh, Okay, so um, all right, so they're describing themselves. They love their mother, and they've seen love actually several times. That's movie, and uh, they're um, sensitive but still bad boys. <laughs> okay, so they go on to say that women should respond in pairs, lest you know um, one at this shindig. Okay, so they say that uh, women should uh, respond as a couple like a, they want two women right because they're looking for two women to go on a date so they don't want just one woman so Maria Jose you have to get a friend to, to go to go with you yeah I think <laughs> that that is, it would be a easier a easier, easier? Uh, a easier yeah. assignment see I, I am a, a quite a lot of, of girl or be, uh, female friends yes you have a lot of girlfriends female friends okay <laughs> And so in, they say, unless you know somebody who is, is going to be at this shindig. So shindig is another word for uh, party. So it's a fun word that people use sometimes to say uh, party. Okay, so the ick factor, the ick, like, ew, that's gross, ick factor, uh, creeps in when they admit they favor sisters, twins. Because while we know this is many a man's dream, you really should never put that in writing. <laughs> so I don't know if you guys understand that. That's a joke uh, about how they favor twins. It means they prefer twist twins or sisters. Um, okay, let's see. Diego, will you read all of that that I highlighted there from the starting with they go on? Do you see that? Okay. Okay. Cool. They go on to say that women should respond in pairs, lets you know no one at it is shiny. <laughs> yeah. The ick factor creeps. Yeah. The ick yeah. factor creeps in when they admit they favor sisters, friends, because what we know is many a man's dream. You really should never put that in writing. <laughs> right. So. They're saying that even though it might be a man's dream to go out with uh, two sisters, you put it, you shouldn't put it in writing. All right, good looks are a plus, so their aunts can be impressed. But if you're model gorgeous, you should rethink responding. Their uncles may try to grope you, they say. Okay, James, you want to read that? Lisa, what is grope you? Like hurt <laughs> you or something like that? Uh, like uh, touch your body. Okay. <laughs> well, good, good looking or uh, plus. Yeah, yes. Uh, another word for that is to fill you up. Okay. Uh, James, are you with us? Yes. Okay, great. Sorry, go ahead and read. Which part? Good looking? Yes, uh, good, good looks look. are a plus. Good look or a plus. So their aunt can be impressed. But if 
you are a model gorgeous, you w you should rethink responding. Their uncle may try to group you. They say. <laughs> yeah. So they're trying to be funny again. So they're saying it's a good. It's a plus if you're um, have good looks. So if you're pretty, because their aunts, the boys' aunts, will be impressed. But if you're very gorgeous, like your model gorgeous, probably you don't want to respond to this ad because our uncles might, uh, uh, we can say make a move on you is another way to we say it, make a move on you or they'll want to like come up and stroke your hair or something like that. So <laughs> you probably won't like that. All right, they go on to share more about what they're looking for and end with noting they know you may find this a little creepy and maybe even be concerned they're Craigslist killers. Uh, no, well, if you want to be technic, oh, never mind. No, we aren't. We just genuinely want to do something different and we don't see any other way to approach it, they write. What would verify our normalness? Facebook, Instagram, we can have a pre-date screening or interview prior to the wedding and play 20 questions over a couple of, couple of, a couple of, that means couple of, cocktails if you'd like. <laughs> so here you go. Uh, lend it. You want to read that? Okay. They go on to share more about what they are looking for and end with nothing they know you may find is a little creepy. <laughs> and maybe even be concerned they are Craigslist killers. No. Well, if you want to be a technique, never mind. No, we aren't. We just genuinely want to do something different and we don't see any other way to approach it, they write. What will verify our normalness? Facebook, Instagram, we can have a pre-dating screening interview prior to the wedding and play 20 questions over a couple of cocktails if you if you like. Yeah, <laughs> so they're just trying to say that uh, they know this might seem weird that they're doing this, but they're just trying to um, do something different and something fun. And uh, if you want, you can have a pre-date screening. So when you're doing a screening of somebody, it means you're checking them out, uh, making sure they're not going to be dangerous or too weird or something like that. So it's like an interview. And he says you can play 20 questions. Do you guys know what 20 questions is, that game? It's a it's a game where people uh, you just ask all kinds of questions about somebody. Twenty questions, uh, yeah. So you don't, they're not going to be serial killers. <laughs> okay, all right. Teacher. Yes. It's like a truth or dare or it's yeah. something different. Twenty questions is kind of yeah. Twenty questions are not just like uh you know what kind of dinner do you like? They're kind of. Uh, more personal questions where you ask people things that maybe they don't tell everybody, but it's a way that you get to know somebody uh, at a deeper level. Does that make sense? Yeah, okay. All right, the last one here. Thanks to the post going viral, so you guys probably heard about that, uh, going viral via Reddit, BuzzFeed, The Huffington Post, and several blogs, They've already gotten 500 responses. Even if you're taken or too hot, you need to check the ad out simply for the entertainment value. You'll find the a link and all the photos at, okay, her, this one right here, blog's time, blog.timesunion.com forward slash Christy. Okay, so let's see, Jorge, you want to read that last part there? Yeah, thanks. To the post going viral via Reddit, BuzzFeed, the, the Huffington Post, and several blogs, they've already gotten 500 responses. Even if you're taken or too hot, you need to check the ad out simply for the entertainment value. Oops. You'll find. Sorry. <laughs> go ahead. You'll find the link. Okay, I'm just going to go to the link here. See what what it if it's on there. I didn't check that before. Uh, eh, I don't know where it is. Okay, um, okay. So what do you guys think about this uh, Craigslist ad? I like <laughs> this type of Craigs Craigslist <laughs> ad. 
That's, I think what, what do you I, like I have, about it? I have to confess that because they are too honest. I think uh -huh. they are and, and funny. It's like a different type of, of the typical or the common ad that you saw in a magazine or in a web page. Uh -huh. Yeah, they try to convince you to to, I don't know, to buy them yes, <laughs> or something yes, like that. Yeah, to go out on the date with them. Yeah, to go out. <laughs> and it's funny and I think that is like an amazing idea to catch somebody <laughs> uh <-huh. laughs> to go out in a date or something like that. <laughs> yeah, well, uh, so Maria Jose, in, um, in Colombia, is it very common for people to uh, put an ad in a paper for like a relationship looking for... No, 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 not no it's not common. Maybe if you want to have a relationship with a car or with a house, but... <laughs> <laughs> but but uh, maybe uh, there are a lot of uh, web page like dating web page. Yes. Um, a lot of people, a lot of people. Uh, uh, how do you say? Use use them. Like Match. dot com. Somebody yeah, Match. dot com. I we are we. Uh, I knew I knew once called a uh, high five or something like that is like uh -huh. a web page for dates my mother knows knows that better than me because she searching one day she see she was searching about about it but i don't know uh -huh. i don't care yeah i prefer facebook i think that facebook was a, it's a good tool to find your your soulmate too <laughs> oh yeah mm -hmm. yeah mm -hmm. yeah you you can know uh, a lot of people uh, from other other yeah. other countries or other cities if it is yeah. a local business uh-huh and uh lend it what do you think what what's popular in mexico for people who are looking for dates and things um yeah. i think that uh, they go out with friends maybe and go to drink or yeah to party with friends and uh, each one brings another friend that they don't know, so... Yeah. They, but, do, but do you have, like, Match.com for uh, Mexico? No, I don't think... I don't think we have that. And you don't have any, like, ads? Uh, personal ads, they call them? Personal ads? Yeah, but they are, like, in... Uh, cheap news, newspaper, that they are not serious. Uh-huh. They put some... Sometimes they put ads about that, but... I don't know, <laughs> that's weird. Yeah, it can kind of get dangerous if you start looking up. You'll know you're not sure what you're gonna find when you uh, start looking up things. Because I just typed in a, uh, uh, what did I type in? I don't know. Sing single personal ads in Mexico, and I got this website here, datehookup.com. <laughs> so date dating in Mexico. Oh, uh, Lisa, can I say something? That yeah. that uh, uh, I know, uh, like last uh, two weeks ago, I yeah. know I I knew a web page about cheaters, like uh, cheaters. Uh -huh. If you want to cheat on your couple, something like that. <laughs> yeah. And it's, it's a it's a it's a very how do you say very popular uh, web page in Latin American countries because <laughs> <laughs> because. Many Latin American men are the they believe that they are like the Latino lovers or something yeah. like that. Latin lovers, so, yeah. Yeah, Latin lovers. So <laughs> uh, they can handle just one woman. They, yeah. they want to to have like two or three or something like that, or, or one in each country. Or <laughs> <laughs> yes, I think you can find yeah. anything on the internet. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Uh, Jorge. What what country are you from, Jorge? Mexico. Mexico también. Okay. So what what is it uh, in the area where you live? How do people find uh, dates or companionship or things like that? Uh, it is uh, an old style through friends or just looking for them. Uh huh. Old style. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> not on the internet so much, huh? No, not much. No. Okay, James. What about where you live? James? Where'd you go, James? I can't hear you. Did you I mute my you? mic. Oh, okay, there you are. I mute my mic, so I try to speak, and it, <laughs> I think, why can't you hear me so much? Yeah. Uh, anyways, 
my place there there is like this TV show where it's like called Take Me Out to Thailand where <laughs> where where people like go there to like you know get a date or yeah get a partner uh huh and like and it's on the TV yeah it's on the TV <laughs> now it's so popular here. Is it like um, the man trying to find a woman, or uh, or a woman trying to find a man, or both? Um, you know, there's gonna be thirty girls like line up, uh -huh. and there's gonna be one guy come out, and like you know, and yeah. if and if the the woman doesn't like the guy, they turn the light off <laughs> until the yeah. third round, and if someone still keep their light on. Uh -huh. The guy has the power to go and like bam, 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 like the the light off. The, oh, really? The, the lady that that he doesn't like. Aha. Uh -huh. Okay. Yeah, I just looked it up. Um, here, I'll put it in the screen share. Lisa, can you uh, have you ever heard about the Bachelor? The Bachelor. The bachelor? Oh yeah, yeah. I've never yeah. seen it. <laughs> That's the same kind of thing, huh? Yeah, the I, I think it's more more of like you know like marriage kind of thing, but oh. this is like just like you know date. Yeah. Not 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 that long, you know. Oh, I just think, like I think that you can find the love in that way. I think that <laughs> you can imagine twenty five <laughs> men fighting for your love, something like that is. <laughs> <laughs> it's silly. Oh yeah. my God! And and the and the woman or, or and the woman or or a man crying for, they uh, she don't love me and she and he is the, and he just know he, her like two days ago or something like that. Yeah, yeah, right, right, yeah. So is, when people are watching it, James, is it funny to watch? Yeah, it's kind of funny. You yeah. know, there is there there is no there is um take me out. Um, USA and take me out UK. Oh really? I didn't. Yeah, know. You, you 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 can look it up. Okay. It's so That's funny. Kind of thing. So okay. <laughs> All right. Well, yeah. Um, a long time ago, I think maybe in the seventies, there was the date. What they called the dating game. That was a TV show, uh, where they had a couple of guys and a, and a girl would ask them each questions and they they couldn't see them you know and they would answer and it was kind of funny well that's funny okay Diego how about you do you have do you know about any of these kinds of shows or personal ads on the internet things like that oh as for his said it's just like a old fashioned uh -huh. to know each other or it's Facebook. I'm Facebook will allow people uh -huh. to know each other. Uh -huh. But yeah. shows like this, I don't think so. Well, <laughs> somebody's talking about Doce Corazones. Yes. Yeah. It's like a bachelor, I guess. Uh -huh. Yeah. But here in Costa Rica, you know, I don't have any idea. So, page. No, but that's bad. I don't like it. I don't like that, that because they like humiliate the the guys to with the girls, so they can cut them out. So yeah. I don't like it. Yeah, they kind of um, sometimes they overdo that kind of stuff because it's on TV, and they're trying to make it really uh, entertaining for people, and they think people like it to be, um, I don't know, mean sometimes or. Is that what you mean, lend it? Like they can be. Yeah, because they the they make them do uh, some things that they cannot do, or make them uh, look funny. Uh huh. To yeah. cut them out and reduce the amount of guys. To embarrass them or something. Yeah. 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 Okay. Yeah, you said what does a palooza mean? Um, a palooza. I don't know if it's a real word or not, but um, it's been it's been used uh, in the last several years for. There used to be a big concert called, I think it was Lollapalooza or something like that. And um, there was a big concert that uh, a bunch of bands put on. So it just means kind of like a party. So Palooza means uh, party. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Hassan, uh, what, what country are you from, Hassan? I am from Pakistan. From Pakistan, okay. 
in Pakistan, uh, do you have dating sites or personal ads or TV shows to find dates and things? Uh, in Pakistan, mostly every person wants to marry with some actress or TV model. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but, they, but they cannot marry with them. Yeah. So most uh, uh, marriages are uh, arranged marriage. Mean okay. parents uh, arrange them. Yes. And uh, some modern families have love marriage. Uh huh. And uh, there are some. I when I saw newspaper, there are some ads, three uh -huh. or four ads, oh. which given by daughter's parents for yeah. her daughter. We yeah. need a five feet height man, which has two arms and uh, two legs, and uh, <laughs> he can hear. <laughs> <laughs> so he's alive. His heart is beating. <laughs> yes. Yes. So, uh, Asan, so, uh, do you have? Are you gonna get married? Are you married yet? No, no. I am still single. You're still single. But then, how are you going to find a girlfriend? Are you going to have an arranged marriage? Uh, no, no. Basically, I want to love with uh, an. American girl. Uh, okay. Well, you better go to Match.com. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> to find an American girl. <laughs> uh, okay. So maybe he, he has he has to put a uh, ad in Craigslist to find yeah. an American girl. Put an ad on Craigslist. Put in it. Yeah. <laughs> Looking to marry an American girl, yes. Yeah. <laughs> okay. I already found that. I already found that girl. He, she is Amanda Butler. Oh her yeah. Name is, her name is Amanda Butler. That's her name. That's her name. And she lives in the United States. Yes, she is from Washington. From Washington. <laughs> yes. <laughs> okay. Blanca, yeah, you just. Also, it's like, a, yeah. like a fast date. Yeah. Oh, uh, around okay. one minute each date. Oh yeah, that's a that's something that's been happening. Like in uh, New York, they have what's called uh, speed dating. Um, so you can go to uh, these uh, like little parties or little meetings, and you sit around and. Um, and you go on, uh, let's see, how does it work? It's like the site there. You go on the site, yeah. but, yes? I have a question. In USA, is is very common that the that type of parties, like single parties, when people meet in, uh, each other and they, I, they try to find a couple? Or not? Yeah, yeah. Oh, my but, God. Well, well, I mean, it depends. That's that's really amazing, enjoyable thing. <laughs> oh well, my god! I think what it is is um, some like organizations, even like churches or schools. Sometimes they have like a singles night, so that means like they have a party or a concert or something, and it's for people who don't have partners. And um, so you come, and then you might dance and meet each other and talk and things like that. That's what a single, single party is. Or singles night or something like that. But yeah, the speed dating is, they do that I think in big, bigger cities, like in Seattle they probably do it, where you go and you go to like maybe a restaurant, but they have a room and you're, they just have all these chairs and little tables um, like in a circle and you just go and like uh, say the women change seats, but the man, uh, the oh men God. stay in one seat, and then yeah. every like two minutes you you move, and you have these questions that you can ask. No, and you talk. I think that is too complicated for me. <laughs> I prefer to know one person per night or something like that. <laughs> That's too fast yeah. for you, huh? Yeah, yeah. I'm too fast. Yeah. Well, some so people you, are some people are in a hurry. <laughs> so you want to say that we yeah. must learn. Uh, we must learn your dance also for finding a partner. Learn what? 
must uh, like uh, we we must know about your dancing like uh, oh, how dancing. we can dance yes, yes. <laughs> I think Lendit's an old fashioned he says just just live and wait for it to come is that right Lendit yeah yeah that's the better option that's better yes yeah. people come, people, people get come. desperate I think people get desperate and they get lonely and so they think, ah, especially women who want to have babies. Maybe you, you want to, to buy a pet or something like that. <laughs> they, they need a dog. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay. All right, maybe we should have another class sometimes. We'll talk about uh, dating in different cultures and what it's like. It will be amazing, like a speaking class or something like that. Maybe, maybe we should have the Verbling Singles Night. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's some fun. The verbling. Yes. I'm gonna start the verbling uh, singles club. Yeah, yeah, Lisa would be um, an amazing idea. Like one, one, one day per week or something yeah. like that. Yeah. And you guys can bring your questions for each other. And of uh, yes, yes. Do you like pets? Do you like puppies? Do, yeah. do you like babies? Do you, do you need puppies to don't feel alone <laughs> or something like that? Right, right. Are you house trained? Okay. Yes. Yeah, the the matchmaker. You love your mom? <laughs> <laughs> I can be I can become the verbling matchmaker. That could be my new job. Yeah, because yeah. because Joe Joe cooks and Matthew sings. Yeah, and I'm, I'm going so, to create uh, relationships. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, it would be amazing. In Spanish, you say Celestina. Whoa. You you Matt. will be the Celestina in Verbling. Celestina, okay. Maybe we'll have a Verbling wedding someday. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> but that, I, okay. The, I, the I hard think part that, is, I, yeah. I think the hardest part is that people don't know each other and like you know there's come from like different kinds of countries so that yes. is going to be tough yes yes well it'll be or interesting it be possible okay i'm going to do that for another one of my classes <laughs> <laughs> yeah okay you can try okay yeah. i'll try you have to come you with have, the questions you have to okay. promise to do it okay it, uh, all right it'll be an amazing idea <laughs> okay good <laughs> Okay, uh, well, we went past the hour like I usually do, so um, I guess we got to go now, and I'll see you guys another time, okay? Thank you. Thanks okay, for okay. Thanks. okay, Lisa, best of luck. Thank you. Best, of, best of luck finding a date for your parties. <laughs> 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 okay, good night. Bye, bye, everyone. Bye. bye. bye.